All right, so um, is she an a-hole for standing up at a concert and blocking the view of the people behind her? This is an age-old argument. We have had this argument time and time again on the show. Mo, you've got the email. Hi, Bird Show. Love you guys so much. My friends and I have listened to your show for years and talk, to, talk about the tea weekly. I have an Am I the A-Hole story for you. My husband and I went to a sold-out concert last Friday for a rock band called Greta Van Fleet. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got it. We bought tickets last minute, ended up sitting in the second to the last row of the arena. We were all the way up in the nosebleeds, and the walk to get there was quite steep with many stairs. Once the concert began, they played one of my favorite songs. My husband and I stood up to enjoy the music, dance, and sing along. The girl behind us, probably mid-20s, tapped my husband on the shoulder immediately and said, you guys have to sit down because we can't stand for long periods of time. It wasn't an ask. My husband instantly sat back down, but I continued to enjoy the song. It put a huge damper on the fun because, again, this is a rock concert. I didn't expect to sit in my seat quietly for its entirety or wait for the people behind us to tell us when it's okay to stand. My question is, am I the a-hole for continuing to stand or should we sit down because the people behind us told us to? A few solutions for them would be purchasing a handicapped seat, which has an unobstructed view, or purchasing a seat in the front row for the section for a better view. Also, I thought it was interesting that they were able to climb the mountain of stairs to reach the very last row of the venue. Maybe I would have felt differently had they asked instead of told. Just something about that interaction came across as very entitled to me and didn't sit right. We ended up moving after the song and the super cool usher we made friends with gave us better seats up closer after a few people left. It all worked out in the end. Thanks, Bircho. Also, welcome, Abby. We love you already. Thank we're, you. We're going to throw it straight to Abby. To sit or not to sit, that is the question. Yeah, this is going to be a PSA. This is just the PSA hour. Mm -hmm. For everybody listening who's going to the Nashville show for Taylor Swift in May, if you are in Section H, Row 5, you better prepare yourself. <laughs> I will be standing. I will be squealing with joy. I will be crying. I will be doing whatever the hell I want because I paid an obscene amount of money for those seats. <laughs> I think this is beyond ridiculous. When you go to a concert, you're going to stand. You're yeah. going to exude joy, if you will. This really bugs me. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm team stand. Um, it is odd. I mean, like, they were, the fact that they were in, like, the second to last row when those, uh, those people were in the very last row. And, I mean, she, she raises some interesting points, but you never know what a person's circumstances are as far as, like, what the tickets they were able to afford or um, if, if they do have some kind of medical issue that they can't stand or she was just saying that to get them to sit the whole entire time because, you know, people unfortunately do lie about that kind of stuff. Um, but it, it, you both paid. And if you get stuck behind somebody who's standing, that's just, it's a concert. And people are there to have fun and enjoy themselves. Now, I did go to a concert once, and everybody was standing the whole entire time. Um, but the, because everybody was standing, um, my, my seat had, like, a perfect view. So the girl next to me kept inching and, like, trying to push me out of my seat so she could see. It almost came to blows. And she was, like, wasted and I was trying to look at her friend for help and I, I literally had to box her out of my seat because she was like pushing me to the right towards my dad when I was like that is my hole I paid for that <laughs> hole so I can see Paul McCartney get out of my way nobody mess with Kristen's hole right thank you <laughs> Save that. protect the hole at all costs <laughs> thank you I'm, uh, I'm torn because when I go to concerts uh, I know I'm tall so I, I try to be aware oh, yeah. of that. Or if I, if anybody's ever behind me, I, I always try to pay attention. Like even on planes, that's very I'll kind check of you. Because I know what it feels like, especially mm -hmm. like on a plane. If I'm tall and they won't ever check to see that, they just go back, and I'm like, okay, now you're in my lap. I don't like this. <laughs> so I try to be self-aware, but at the same time. If I'm going to a concert, I know I'm not going to be able to tell people sit down if they want to stand up. They pay for the what tickets. You, they, they can do what they. What do you do when you stand? You like like little squat? I don't stand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, at all? No, I don't. I'm not a stander. Like I want to actually sit down. I don't even like stand up concerts. That's not my thing. But if I were her and somebody told me to sit down, like they didn't ask, I probably would have did the same thing she did. To yeah. be honest, because you can't tell me what to do. You should have asked. So I'm with her. I guess 
Ultimately, she's not the a-hole. Oh, oh, so, so far, three for three, no a-hole. Unpopular opinion. You bought a seat, not a stand. Sit down. If someone behind you can't see, like, just because you paid the money, you paid the money for a seat to see the show. If the person behind you cannot see and they've asked you, and I would ask, not tell. I agree with you there, Mo, for sure. Then that you should sit because just because you paid money for the seats doesn't mean that you are entitled to do whatever you want and make everyone else's concert going experience suck. Now, if you bought general admission or floor seats, like you have to know what you're getting into. Like if somebody is yelling at Abby, who has fourth row Taylor Swift uh, tickets to sit down, I'd be like, y'all are idiots. <laughs> like, you know what you're getting into. But that high up, like. If somebody asks you nicely, sit down. You don't get to do whatever you want just because you spent money. Tommy, you were at the John Mayer concert last night. Did you sit well, or stand? Right. I stood the whole time. Everybody stood the whole time. And it was an acoustic show. And they stood up. But you remember my concert rules of etiquette. I say, look around you. If nobody else is standing... Sit your ass down. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's a good but one. What if it's your that's favorite that's song? Rule of thumb. Maybe it's like a like a B side song that nobody else is really attached to, but it's your favorite song. Seat uh-huh. dance. Seat I would, dance. Just pump your arms. <laughs> Usually, if it's my favorite song, everybody's standing up anyway. Okay. So. <laughs> the Burt Show. Like what you just watched? You can get more of the Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.